how narcissists endure your no contact. When you leave the narcissist, when you go no contact, when you begin to heal from narcissistic abuse and you start to realize your value and self-worth because you're enjoying your life again and you're no longer confused about what you went through because you've left the narcissist world you may wonder about what the narcissist is thinking you may wonder how they feel now that you've moved on because now you have something outside of them so you're happy without them but you were already headed in that direction before you unexpectedly met the narcissist it's just that they used up your resources they drained you of your reserves because they feed off your energy they strip it away but even though they're the ones who are actively opposed and hostile towards you and they're the cause of the situation and they've deliberately stripped it away from you and brought you down to a lower level they will attack you and put you down for it because now you're unable to perform after they've harmed and damaged you after they've made you feel constrained and oppressed They've stripped you of your happiness and contentment. And now they're giving you fierce criticism and opposition. They're putting you down for it. Even though they were the fundamental reason for the occurrence of the problem. They were the primary factor that caused the non-conformance. They were the initiating cause of the chain of events which led to the outcome or effect of interest but now they want to make things worse for you even though you're already in an adverse situation they want to criticize you after you've already suffered a setback so you're already in a weak position or at a disadvantage and yet they still choose to devalue and degrade you until they begin to regard you as garbage until they no longer want you because now they see their new sources being more valuable even after everything you put out for them and you were expecting them to reciprocate you were expecting them to give something back to you in return but now they're unable to be found because they're busy working on their next target so they're not fully understanding recognizing or valuing you they're taking you for granted they're not giving you any acknowledgement or credit instead you ended up giving that to them which is what they were so satisfied with even though they did nothing in return for you which is why you will only end up ruining your health by trying to satisfy them because nothing can make them happy nothing will make them feel whole and complete to where they will want to do something for you in return you will become very ill and tired until you have nothing left to give and then they will treat you as unimportant you will be worth nothing to them because they believe that they can find something better something that satisfies their desires and needs which doesn't make any sense because they can't be satisfied but they will abandon you or you will get fed up and leave and then you have to rebuild everything that they damaged and destroyed 
you have to discover your own self-motivation so that you can find your happiness again. After you've figured them out and you know what they're about. And it can be very difficult to get to this point because they don't want to accept that they're the problem. They want to blame you. Which is why if you move on and you end up doing better without them, it confirms that they're not the good people that they portray themselves to be. They're not what they believe in their minds. And in fact, they're the exact opposite of that. Which is why the last thing they want to see is you moving on and doing better without them. Because that would cause a huge narcissistic injury. It would confirm that they're the ones who are weak and not about anything. They're the garbage. So of course they're not going to like it. It will make them envious and jealous. It will really get to them because they had to elevate themselves at your expense. They had to make themselves feel better by creating these explanations of why you're no good for them. But then you end up moving on and doing better without them. It completely destroys their false narrative. It destroys everything that they're telling themselves in their minds of them being so great so that they can feel better about themselves. When the narcissist sees you moving on and things are getting better for you without them, it destroys the psychological strategies that they use to cope with their difficult feelings, thoughts and events, which they were using to not illustrate themselves as the problem or as the one who is flawed or faulty. Which is why the last thing they want is to see you shine. The last thing they want is to see you being great. It eats away at them because they're mad. They're envious and jealous. They can't stand to see you moving on. Because then they're left to their own devices. They're left to look after themselves without any help. So then they're forced to accept that it's them. Which is why they try to get back to you. It's not to reunite or to try to make things right. It's to show you that you're not doing good without them. Because everything has to be about them. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. So they try to come back just to show you you're not really happy. You're not really good without them. And even if you let them back in, they'll just end up trying to destroy the happiness that you have anyway. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.